what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the values of x and y for which x y minus 7 or raised 32 is equal to x squared plus y squared well our first step will be for us to expand the left hand side the left hand side is of the form a minus b all squared and this is expanded as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so now let's expand this like this so this becomes xy all squared minus 2 times xy times 7 and then plus 7 squared very good just like this and this is equal to the right hand side we have x squared plus y squared very good now simplifying the left hand side we have x y all squared minus 2 times x y times 7 that is 14 x y and then plus 7 squared is 49 and this is equal to x squared plus y squared very good now our next step will be for us to make the right hand side a perfect squared and we can achieve that by adding 2xy to both sides so on the left we have xy all squared minus 14xy plus 49 now i'll add 2xy this is equal to i'll do the same thing on the right hand side the right hand side i have x squared plus y squared and i'm also going to add 2xy very good so simplifying we have xy all squared now minus 14xy plus 2xy is minus 12xy and then plus 49 equal to now notice that the right hand side is now a perfect squared of the form x plus y or squared very good now let's also create a perfect squared from the left hand side and we do that by using completing the square now i'll take the coefficient of x y which is negative 12 i'll divide it by 2 and i'll square the results so this is equal to negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6 remember we square the results so i'm going to be adding this to the left hand side so this will be xy all squared minus 12 xy now let's add this plus negative 6 squared so this makes this a perfect square now plus 49 remember if i add negative 6 squared i also have to remove it here so minus negative 6 squared very good so it's a sieve is not there and this is equal to the right hand side which is x plus y or squared very good now notice that this is a perfect square of the form x y minus 6 or squared very good plus this is 49 minus negative 6 squared is 36 and this is equal to x plus y or squared very good so now simplifying further we have x y minus 6 or raised to the 2 now 49 minus 36 is plus 13 and this is equal to x plus y or squared very good 
So our next step will be for us to move x plus y all squared to the left and we move 13 to the right. So this we have x, y minus 6 all squared. And as x plus y all squared moves to the left, it becomes minus x plus y all squared. This is equal to as 13 crosses to the left, not to the right, it becomes negative 13. Very good. Now notice that we have an expression of difference of two squares. An expression of difference of two squares like this can be expressed as, for example, if I have a squared minus b squared, this is expressed as a minus b times a plus b. Very good. Now, expressing this like this, if we have to compare, you see that a is this expression, which is x, y minus 6, and we see that b is this expression, which is x plus y. Very good. a minus b, which is x, y minus 6, this is, this is our a, minus b, our b is x plus y, good, and then times a plus b, which is x, y minus 6, plus b, our b is x plus y, very good, and this is equal to negative 13, good, so we have two factors which multiplies to give negative 13. So our next step will be for us to write out the factors of negative 13. So we know that negative 13 is same as negative 1 times 13. And it is also negative 13 times 1. So we're going to be using these two to solve. So we call this case 1. And we call this case 2. Very good. But we have to take note of something. That what we have here on the left is smaller than what we have here on the right. That means this is bigger. The one carrying a plus is bigger. So this will be associated with a bigger factor. Very good. So I'll say for case 1. Case 1. We have this factor, which is x, y minus 6 minus x plus y to be equal to the smaller factor of negative 16, that is negative 1. Then, this other factor, which is x, y minus 6 plus x plus y to be equal to the bigger factor, which is 13. Very good. So we can call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Now let's subtract. Let's subtract. So on subtracting, xy minus xy is 0. Now negative 6, negative times negative, that is positive. So negative 6 plus 6 is also 0. So that is out. Now what do we have here? We have negative x plus y, minus times plus is minus, so negative x plus y minus x plus y is negative 2x plus y. Very good. And this is equal to, now negative 1 minus 13 is negative 14. Very good. So we can just divide both sides by negative 2. So divide the left by negative 2. I also divide the right by negative 2. Negative 2. Very good. Now notice that negative 2 can cancel out, leaving behind x plus y on the left to be equal to, now negative 14 divided by negative 2 is 7. Very good. Now this time around, with the same equation, remember the first time we subtracted, now this time we're going to add. Let's do that on the next slide. But remember that from our subtraction, we got x plus y to be equal to 7. 
So now let's add up. So we have xy plus xy, that is 2xy. And then negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. And then negative x plus y plus x plus y is 0. This is equal to negative 1 plus 13 is 12. So let's move negative 12 to the right. We have 2xy to be equal to 12. And as negative 12 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 12. So making 2xy to be 12 plus 12 is 24. And if I have to divide both sides by 2, 2 here cancels 2. So we have xy to be equal to 24 divided by 2 is 12. Very good. So we have another equation, which is xy equal to 12. Let me just write them out. So we have the first one to be x plus y equal to 7. And the second one, xy equal to 12. Now, I'm not going to be solving these two equations. But by inspection, you see that either of x and y can be 4. Let's say x is 4 and y is 3. When you add them up, you get 7. And when you multiply them, 4 times 3, you get 12. So we can say the values for x and y are when x is 4, y will be 3. And since the two equations are symmetric, that means it doesn't matter which position. So that means even x can be 3 and y can also be 4 and we have the same results. That is it. So these are the first values or solution to x and y. Now let's go to our case 2. Now for our case 2, we take our first factor. Let me just say case 2. Our first factor is xy minus 6 minus x plus y to be equal to, remember this is a smaller factor, so we give it to negative 13. Very good. And then the other factor, which is xy minus 6 plus x plus y, we associate this with a bigger factor, which is 1. Very good. So now, like we did before, we're going to subtract. So let's subtract. xy minus xy is 0, so no need of writing that. Negative 6, negative negative makes it plus, so negative 6 plus 6 is 0 as well. Now, negative x plus y minus x plus y gives negative 2x plus y. And this is equal to negative 13 minus 1 gives negative 14. So let's divide both sides by negative 2. You notice that negative 2 cancels out, leaving behind x plus y to be equal to negative 14 divided by negative 2 is 7. So we also have x plus y to be 7 here. Now let's go to adding the two equations. Now on adding the two equations, xy plus xy is 2xy. Negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. And then negative x plus y plus x plus y is 0, so no need of writing that. This is equal to negative 13 plus 1 is negative 12. Very good. So we have 2xy to be, we have negative 12 from here. And as negative 12 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 12. So simplifying further, we have 2xy to be equal to negative 12 plus 12 is 0. And now dividing both sides of the equation by 2, 2 cancels out 2, leaving xy to be equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. So the two equations we've got are, we have x plus y equal to 7, and we have xy to be equal to 0. And by expression, 
we can see that when x is 7, that means y should be 0. So that is why when they multiply here 7 times 0, it results to 0. And when we add them, 7 plus 0, it is 7. And remember what I said, the equation is symmetric. So it doesn't matter the position. So x can be 7 while y is 0, or x can be 0 while y is 7. So this is another solution for x and y. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.